It's been helping teens succeed in sobriety and school for 18 years now in the 608. Josh Schreider is live in Madison with how you can help Horizon High School continue its mission. Great story this morning, Josh. Hey guys, yeah, it's amazing to see the positive impact that the Horizon High School has made over the last 18 years. And this is year two for them in their new space here, right on the corner of University Avenue and Whitney Way. We're in one of their main classrooms, and we've got a treat for you this morning because, you know, they're having that big anniversary celebration later on today, which we'll get to in a moment. But we have a couple of the teachers here at Horizon High School a little earlier than normal this morning. We have Bob Weinswig and Megan Muse with us this morning. Bob, we're going to start with you. You've been here, this is year seven for you. you you know, talk about that impact that you've seen and just that positive uh, impact right here. Um, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> we, we, um, it, it's been, a, I, I've been here for seven years. I, I came here seven years ago to help out and I just never have left. Um, it's, it's really just enjoyable to work with such a diverse community um, and, and really, give these kids an opportunity to to blossom and branch out and and just give them a chance to grow and all of these people have amazing stories you know megan you've been here just a few weeks now you know what got you in the doors here at horizon high school um so i'm from wisconsin originally and i knew i wanted to come back after living abroad for a few years um and i'm in recovery myself and so being able to work at a school that caters to recovery for students is a very unique opportunity that seemed to fit me and this is one of the main classrooms here. So, you know, what are kind of the goals of what you guys really do with your education? Um, so we try to reach all students. Having students from ninth to 12th grade, we have to really be um, like inclusive in the curriculum. So throughout the day, we break our day into the different subjects, but we allow our activities to reach um, they're low, low floor, high ceiling, so they reach the ninth graders to the 12th graders. Um, and as you can see, we're set up in small groups. We try to get kids talking and working together um, and having them interact with their peers. And we talked uh, with Tracy a little bit earlier about that community support and why it's so important. How are you using that community support to get the job done, Bob? Um, just, uh, you know, we're, being a private school, you know, we rely so much on, on the community for uh, people donating various things, um, whether it's, we, we, we built up our library that way um, and, and through other corporations donating stuff to help rebuild this place. And, um, uh, you know, uh, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, keeping that mission alive is super, super important. So with that, we're going to throw some information up on the screen right now. Later on today, the 18th anniversary celebration is going to be happening at the Goodman Community Center Ironworks Building. So this is an opportunity for you and the community to come out, support their mission here of what Horizon High School has going on and to keep their mission alive. So that is going on. We'll have that up on channel3000.com. Bob and Megan, thank you so much for what you guys are doing, and thanks so much for being here this morning. We appreciate it. Guys, we'll send it back to you in the studio. It's really, really amazing to see the important work being done here in the community and the differences that they're making for people here in the 608. Yeah, really important spotlight this morning. Josh, thanks for sharing this story. Don't forget to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out to him on social media or email him for a chance to be featured.